hi friends welcome to my videos so in this video I'm gonna take you through the steps of installing SharePoint Server 2016 in a standalone environment I mean to say in a single server or in other words in my laptop so I have downloaded the installation media here as you can see in front of you so I'm gonna install I'm gonna start with the prerequisite installer and I run it as an administrator so in front of you you can see the list of prerequisites required and then just uh, we are going to click on next okay just accept the license terms and again click on next all right so now it's uh, starting with the configuration of IES role this is equivalent to go to uh, server features and uh, enable the IES feature so the tool is doing this for you and now it is downloading a uh, web server app fabric once the download is completed it's gonna install the same now because the download is over so the system is installing the app fabric now meanwhile it quickly installed two prerequisites and now it's gonna go ahead with controller client Now it is downloading the WCF data services. So now it is installing WCF data services 5.6 which has been downloaded already. Now it's gonna go, now it's downloading the CU package for app fabric and installing the same. It is downloading a C component for Visual Studio 2012. So perfect. So with this we have installed every prerequisite and we can click on finish now the next step is to install your uh, SharePoint which we I have mounted here so now I am gonna go for this setup and I am gonna run it as an administrator So you see what happens, it is asking for a restart. So let's restart it and continue it. So guys, we are back. So now let's see how does setup behave. Perfect, so we did not encounter the same error and uh, now we are here to enter the product key so I entered the product key and I clicked on continue let's accept the license term click on continue leave it as it is and here the installation begins ok so now it is probably in the last stage where it is finalizing the installation let's wait ok guys so the installation is complete now we are ready to run the config wizard. Let's see what happens. Okay. Click on yes. And we are going to create a new farm. So click on new farm. Okay. okay so I have entered the information now I'm gonna click on next let's see what happens oh yes local account so these local accounts can be used only in standalone mode so standalone mode was supported in SharePoint 2010 but this mode was not supported starting from 2013 and 2016 so before we proceed further we have to enable some server level features in order to have this working so let's go through that let's uh, try to open server manager
we need to create a domain controller and then we need to add the server as part of that and then it should work then it no longer would be a standalone so basically the uh, idea is you have to enable some domain controller level features so that you can make sure that this is not your standalone environment where you can install SharePoint 2016 and configure accordingly. Still collecting the data. Go to server manager and I've clicked on role based or feature based solution. Select the server. Okay. So I selected Active Directory Domain Services. And uh, let's see what happens after this. So the role has been successfully installed. You can see in the server man manager I have ADDS option enabled here. So let's proceed and configure it. So we are going to promote this server to a domain. So we are going to start with adding a new forest. So I am giving it my name. Rahul dot local. next you can leave these settings as it is and I'm gonna put a password on next click on next so the name is populated here hi so active directory domain services have been enabled and my server was restarted now we are back so now we are going to proceed like this as you remember we put the domain as Rahul so let's proceed with this let's proceed okay good we are, we are to the next stage we can put a pass press now let's click on next So it's gonna be a single server farm so I select single server farm click on next okay all right so now the first two steps were pretty quick and it has gone to the third step of creating the configuration database okay so finally the step of database I mean config database creation is over and now it has quickly go, gone to the step 6 let's see how it proceeds so far so good so the step 6 is also over now it's registering SharePoint feature so now we are in the step 8 where the central administration web application is being provisioned so far so good now we are in the final step 
if this goes through means our installation is completed let's just wait and watch and keep our fingers crossed wow excellent so finally after a lot of steps starting from prerequisites till the end we successfully managed so i hope you like this video make sure you put your like and do not forget to subscribe and please put a comment thank you